G'day, today I'm gonna to show you through my relatively new Tilta CT12 Cinema Tripod. It's the 12 kilo fluid head with the 75 mil bowl. It's got carbon fiber legs and the two stage one release clips. So let's get it up. I'm pretty much 190 centimeters, so this is right up there, which is a really handy height to have. I really love just having the one release to get the full range of the tripod height. And you also have little releases to extend the support in the middle. Now, one of the downsides with the spreader is you will need to use a tool to actually undo it if you need to spread your legs further than what the spreader allows. The bowl head, I really like. It's also got the hook for the counterweight if you're needing to counterbalance something particular on an angle that you're doing or something or other. Now, you can actually take out the 75 mil bowl housing and use it as 100 mil, I'm fairly certain. The head itself is obviously the heaviest part of the tripod. Given that the cameras I'm using are the C70, and soon I'll have the C400. I wasn't worried about needing a 100 mil bowl. The 75 mil with a 12 kilo fluid head is definitely gonna suit the style of work that I do. If you were using you know, an Ari or a really heavy camera unit, then obviously you go for the bigger tripods and they all kind of get that 100 mil bowl. So this is definitely horses for courses, suits me well. Now with the way I work, I actually very rarely am on a tripod operating. Generally, if I've got the tripod, it's for static interview shots. So I've never really been too concerned about having a decent fluid head. I'm either on the easy rig, on the gimbal, or going really run and gun and handheld. So I don't often stop to operate tripod wise. But I was on a job recently where we needed, it was about an hour long uh, piece that we needed to operate the camera for the whole time. There was lots of moving, they were playing golf and having a chat at a driving range. And I just found that I just couldn't get what I wanted out of the existing tripods I had. And I just felt a bit goofy and I just wasn't as sturdy and stable and fluid as I'd like to be. So I've always been wanting to buy a Miller tripod. I'm not gonna lie, if I had endless amounts of money, I would have just simply bought a Miller tripod. They're made in Australia and they're just a fantastic product. But the reality is, is I can't spend lots of money and I don't want to spend crazy amounts of money given that I don't often use tripods operated. But luckily for me, when I was looking, Tilta had just announced these new tripods. So I jumped straight on eBay and the Tilta page had a really good price on these. So they're about $2,000. It had the weight range that I wanted and the carbon fiber single release two stage legs. So for me, if I was gonna buy the Miller equivalent, you're looking at about three and a half to $4,000. And I just wanted to utilize, you know, let's call it a $1,500 saving. I'd just rather use that money on something else. There was actually a discount code at the time. So I got this for about $1,500, which was an absolute steal in my opinion. So I think in general, you're looking around that $2,000 retail mark for this exact tripod. Now, my first impressions when I opened this a couple of weeks ago, was it feels sturdy and feels strong and it's heavy. It's absolutely a, a heavy tripod. But my only little concern is with these releases, one of them feels a bit tighter than the other. And I'm just worried, I don't know, it feels like I might be pressuring it more than I should be. But there might just be a loosening thing I need to have a look at. But other than that, it feels like a beast. And I really like the black mat, not that the look needs to really matter, but it's quite a striking tripod and I feel like it's gonna last. Time will tell. The tripod legs are obviously light as, all the stability which you want is in the head. So I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. So this is a scenario that I generally need to use a tripod in an operating sense. So I'll have my two times extender on my 70 to 200. We might be picking off sports or doing some sort of wildlife thing. So that's the main reason that I wanted a heavy duty tripod is so that I can do these long shots really smooth in a setting that takes out those jitters and movements from lower end tripods. Also, if we're doing an operated interview or just an operated 
you know, how to video or something, then with the shorter lenses, you're just gonna have a better quality of movement. So it has the two level markers, which is great. So you can line up your counterbalance with the camera on the dovetail bubble level. Then you've also got the bowl head bubble level as well. There is a light that you can uh, purchase a battery for that can illuminate the bottom level. Now, my battery's flat and I've only had a couple of weeks. So I've just emailed Tilter just to find out whether the switch is a timer or whether it's an off on. So maybe I left it on or maybe it got pressed in the bag or something. So I'm just gonna find out how long that battery is meant to last with this little light. I would have thought it would have been a while given that it's uh, the tiniest little LED in there. So we'll figure that one out. Now you've got your tilt lock, uh, feels good. It's nice and smooth. It's a simple little lock off. You've got your pan lock again, nice and easy, super simple. On the back here, it's gonna dial this in. On this side, this is the dovetail um, release. So you can move that, the whole plate forward or back. This does protrude out quite a bit off the side. So it's a little bit annoying. Uh, you've got your arm with the extender and that feels really nice. It's a good, good grip, uh, good length if you need that lower end. And then obviously you've got your full rotation um, wherever you need it. So. Often on tripods, I take off the arm because I'm not operating on them. So they're just static for events and things like that. Given that I'm gonna use this one as an operated tripod, I'm gonna leave the arm on. So you've got the extra little three eights on the three sides, which is super helpful. Then you've got your counterbalance dials on the back here. So with the three different counterbalance dials, you can really pick what you want for your smoothness and the resistance and it's really quite beautiful. It really does feel to me like the previous Miller tripods that I've uh, rented or borrowed for bigger jobs. And it just gives you that really smooth operation. And it's particularly noticeable when you're kind of coming to a stop with operating tripods with heavier cameras. When you've got lower end tripods, you kind of get a bit of, you know, you're just not finding your spot and you get a little bit of shake or movement or you're kind of having to correct as you get there. That's the great thing about these higher end fluid heads that you can really nail and dial in your balance just to have those landing markers more accurate and less jitter or shake when you get to those moments. That was definitely the main reason I wanted to invest a little bit more money in having a decent tripod. So I think overall Tilter have nailed this tripod. So this tripod's really gonna suit people in a similar line of work to me where we're using Canon C70s or C300s uh, or the new C400 or if you've got a C500, uh, a Sony FX6, you could happily chuck a Burano on here as well. So it's a really versatile tripod and I think the price point is absolutely perfect for the quality and the absolute beast of a fluid head that is at the top of this unit. Longevity is gonna be something we're just gonna to have to find out. I'm gonna desperately try not to drop this head first into the sand, which I've done with my previous tripods, which is just a nightmare. And I just don't feel it's ever been the same uh, since I've done that. You can take the feet off uh, if you wanna use the spikes and the height is beautiful. So given that the camera level can be pretty much just below my height. So I think it must be about 187 or 188 centimeters. That's a really decent height. If you, you know, particularly if you're gonna use this operated at events or something that can get you above the seated crowd quite well. If you're finicky about scratches and things, you are gonna get scratches with this material. Uh, so just learn to live with that and enjoy those marks. And you've got number markings uh, to help you remember if you're sitting at a certain spot. You can take this plate out as well if you're going to use the, the full dovetail. So there you go, that's my take on the Tilter CT12 and I guess the general excitement I have for uh, having purchased uh, this lovely tripod. If you uh, have any thoughts or comments or questions, if you're thinking about buying this one, just hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll happily answer what I can. Otherwise, I'll probably leave in the comments if Tilt to get back to me about that battery dying so quickly and uh, we'll follow that up. Hope you have a cracking week. We'll uh, catch you very soon. Cheers.